Guys, we're back here on Monday morning and I'm gonna go bale some hay today for the neighbor. And I forgot that the last time I baled hay, which was several weeks ago, that the fuel level was on red at the end of the day. <laughs> and then I need to put fuel in it. So we don't have any fuel over here at Grandpa's. It's over the dairy, so Bryce is gonna bring me some fuel right now. So anyway, my brain is mush and uh, it shows. Alrighty, well, we got the tractor fueled up. Bryce and Brooke brought me that fuel. We're back to bailing over here at the neighbors. And uh, right there across the way, big red barn over there, that is Grandpa's farm. And back there, you can kind of brown back there. That's where the uh, cover crop was that we grazed with the beef cows this winter. And now that's planted into soybeans. So it'll start turning green before too long. But anyway. Just over here, baling some grass hay for the neighbor. Um, we're gonna do a lot of custom baling. Just do a little bit for a couple of neighbors, my uncle basically, just enough to help those guys out. Anyway. Gotta start getting to some of our own stuff here before too long, but I don't know. We're supposed to start up the robot next week, so we'll kind of see what that looks like. So we just had some severe ro weather roll through and uh, blew several branches down in the yard, but didn't damage any buildings. But now the uh, robot feed pellets are getting delivered. So hopefully this weather cooperates because it is kind of nasty out. There's some tornado watches and everything. It's here on Thursday morning and uh, we started feeding the robot pellets yesterday morning and so it's after milking and I just put out my load of feed for the cows I usually put out feed before milking but the way we're doing it this week I want to put it out after milking so all the cows come in to eat at once and I put out these pellets across the top of the feed bunk and uh, that way no cows are getting too many or not enough so all kind of get this similar but that's kind of what the robot pellet will look like that's an energy pellet but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and pour it out for them so i got it all put out to them the reason we want to do this uh a week before we start up the robot is just to get the cows kind of familiar with the smell and the taste of that robot pellet that way when they come into the robot for the first time that pellets in the bowl there they'll recognize that and that'll help kind of get them used to it and know it's there and uh, have some familiarity there at the robot at least so it should help all righty so it's thursday evening and uh, john and his kids willow and eli are going to milk cows tonight and uh, i'm going to push cows through the robot so cows are going to return here in a little bit and i got this gate shut so my plan is I'm going to, as the cows return from milking, there's usually anywhere from 16 to 17 cows on a group of cows. Um, I think I'm going to take half of them at a time. And when they return up this alley, take half of them, bring them in here. And then this gate here, uh, bring it around, shut that gate over there and run them in the robot. I'm going to just run them straight through here. So I'm going to go ahead and open these gates up. But, um, Anyway, and then I'm gonna run them straight through here and use the foot bath. Uh, the cows are familiar with the foot bath, so I shouldn't bug them, but this is the one-way gate. I actually took one side off. I think that's how we'll <laughs> kind of do a little training wheel thing, you know, have one of them on, and then maybe here in a couple days, I'll put both of them on. So anyway, we're gonna give it a go and maybe hopefully this will get the cows where they're somewhat familiar with walking through the robot anyway. Um, so see if it works or not but anyway hopefully it helps <laughs> So 
So it's Friday morning and I just got done singeing cow's udders. So this is the udder singer um, that you saw in the video there. And uh, the reason we do that is to try to keep, uh, for one, good milk quality. Um, with a cow's udder, if they have a lot of hair on their udder, it naturally will want to hold um, dirt particles and manure or whatever else um, to her udder. So it's a good practice to do. And, um, but also for the, now we're going to have the robot. It'll help also with the robot laser eye, being able to see the cow's teats and be able to attach decently. So that's another reason why we do it. So anyway, it's a good practice to do. And actually it doesn't really seem to bother the cows. We haven't done it in a long time and we used to do it. We didn't have a great way to do it. So we really didn't ever, never really did it. But, um, Anyway, using this uh, udder singer that we got with the robot, it works really nice. So, and like I said, didn't seem to bother the cows hardly at all. They just were more nervous about what's the glowing light behind me? What's going on? It didn't seem like it hurt them at all. It just, I mean, it's like if you put your hand over a candle really quick, um, it may singe the hair off your, your fingers, but it really didn't bother you, did it? So, same deal. Guys, we're back here in the robot barn and it is night two of running the cows through the robot barn and I got a group of cows that just came back from milking and I try to try to show you guys how it's done so let's see if this goes well or not <laughs> I'm sure they won't cooperate since I got the camera out but uh, so anyway it's really too big a group I got too many cows in here but this is the last side of cows and it was a partial side so anyway see how it goes so got that chained and brought this gate around so this is what the fetch pen gate is like and double hinged on there and you can see that cow just went through on her own didn't have to walk up there oh there goes another one it seems like especially these last group of cows last night this group of cows she's trying to I put up that second, there you go, she figured it out. I put up that second panel tonight, I didn't have, I just had one on last night and uh, put that second one on tonight. That's the only difference now, but I guess I'm gonna have to push the rest of these through. There we go, now they're going. So to get them a little bit different situated here. So I didn't film any of last night's running them through because it was, to be honest, pretty hectic and uh, they really didn't want to go through, but I had to, basically I had to bring this, this is a, it's called a pinch gate. I had to bring this pinch gate around and kind of close them in here and then uh, try to push them through after that. But anyway, it was pretty hectic, but I haven't had to hardly use that pinch gate tonight and um, they've all pretty well gone through pretty easily on their own. And I'm probably gonna have to use the pinch gate on her cause she's, an old cow that does not go go come on hey anyway well we're getting down to the nitty-gritty of them huh yelp they're gonna do a spinneroo on me you get down to the last four it's usually your dumber four so i don't know why i decided to film this at the end <laughs> Anyway, like I've mentioned before, 
uh, cows don't like change, and so uh, this is a big change. Anytime they've walked through here a billion times, but now I'm telling them to do something different to walk through a robot and to take a step up there at the robot, uh, which is only a five, six inch step. But once I get used to it, it'd be just fine, but it's just, it's never not used to it, and any little change, you know, they get awful nervous about. But anyway, it didn't go too bad. I think my plan tomorrow morning is to just, uh, take that pinch gate and take this gate after I walk them through for milking and then just chain those two together. And then hopefully they walk straight through on their own. So the, they were drastically better tonight than they were last night. So it's progress. Hopefully this helps out um, at startup date that they're kind of familiar with walking through there. So hopefully it's not all in vain. Just realized I probably haven't given much of an update on the rest of the building on the inside here in a while. So we got the epoxy floor put in here. I know I showed that. Um, I was doing that anyway, but I hadn't showed what it looks like after that. But then um, Nathan came in here and plumbed in these couple of tanks. So this is the, uh, the water from the pre-cooler. After it runs through the pre-cooler to help cool the milk, it'll come over here and be stored over here. And um, then whenever we uh, go to wash down the cow side of things with the fire hose, we'll use this water to do that, kind of saving some water that away. So anyway, kind of got this room cleaned out and uh, that's the chemical for the cleaning the robot. But uh, this is a uh, pallet of milk replacer here. So this is kind of what this room's gonna be used for is different storage. We already threw that in here, get that out of the creamery. Um, got this room all done and some shelving put in here. So, yeah, anyway, mostly got a lot of things cleaned up and a few little odd and end projects done all the way back here. And uh, then a couple of days ago, we put in this sink here for washing random stuff. And also got the office all put in. So still gotta do some more there, but anyway. Anyway, I think that'll be it for this week, guys. We'll see you later.